everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and today I've got a mail call. These are actually a couple of things that have come in over the last couple of days, but I saved them so that I could do them together. Yay! First off, I have an envelope here from Yogi Hollow Farms. I was on Rambling with the Brooms Live, and there was a little bit of a contest running over there, or something. I honestly forget. <laughs> I honestly forget what it was and the reason that I won these, but uh, what I ended up winning was a couple of Yogi Hollow Farms stickers. So I'm really excited. I'm actually going to put one of them on my car and the other one is going to go on my new refrigerator because I've decided that um, any channels that I buy stickers from or who send me stickers, I'm going to use them to decorate one side of my refrigerator in my new kitchen. So one of them is going there. This one's probably going on my car. Speaking of which, Yogi Hollow Farm is closing in on their 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys haven't checked them out, which, you know, I, I share a lot of subscribers with her. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you do know her. But if you don't, you need to get over there now. Check it out. They just made the coolest set of nesting boxes for turkeys out of pallets and it looks so cool and the video itself was just really fun to watch so go ahead go over to Yogi Hollow Farms watch their videos subscribe to their channel you definitely will not regret it because Lisa is super fun getting my stickers was pretty cool in the first place but I'm really excited about what's in here some of you who have been on my lives or have been around the YouTube community lately probably have come into contact with Rebecca Davis. And if you haven't, then you're missing out because she is possibly one of the sweetest ladies out there on YouTube. And she's just had her own channel just for chatting and kind of getting her feet into the community. But she has finally, finally started her own channel. She hasn't put up her first video yet. I think she just shot it or is just shooting it and getting it ready but she actually found the name for her new channel on my live and it was given to her suggested by Mennonite Farms. That's Leanne over at Mennonite Farms. Another channel you should really check out because, oh my God, her cooking videos, like you get fat just watching them because they're just so, so delicious. And I'm honestly, actually, a lot of them are pretty healthy. So you definitely want to go look that up. You're going to be wanting to do so much cooking from scratch watching her videos. Like I was watching the pizza video the other night and I really, really want to make some pizza now. <laughs> I mean, I eat plenty of pizza as it is, but I'd really like to get back to making my own pizza. Uh, I used to actually, I would only eat pizza for a little while if I went through the effort of making it at home and that really cut down on my pizza consumption. So maybe I should go back to that. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I have a kitchen now. I just have to get the stove hooked up, the sink hooked up, and then it's actually functioning. But there's got to be a way to make pizza in an Instant Pot. I'm pretty sure that can happen. But Rebecca is most famous for the work that she does with her hats. That is her new channel called Rebecca Davis Touched by Yarn. That's the name that Leanne from Mennonite Farmhouse suggested on my live and it just hit like you can see Rebecca's face like, oh, that's it. Like there were almost tears going. So I'm very excited to have uh, facilitated that meeting and uh, that discussion was pretty great. So I'm really glad she's found her channel name. She is going to be launching her channel. I think she said um, on her mother's birthday or just after her mother's birthday is kind of a, a homage to her. But she's been making hats and just sending them to all of us YouTubers. And mine arrived this week and I can't wait to see it. Like I haven't seen it yet. I have not opened this. It's like the tiniest bit open, but like I have not opened it up and looked at my hat yet. So we're going to see this live. Here we go. Opening my hat. And this is so well timed because it was just three degrees here the other day and we're going to have some more cold days coming up and I don't actually have a hat. So, oh my goodness, this already feels so warm and fuzzy. Oh, oh there's a card in it. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, okay, so I'm glad I'm not showing this to the camera because it has her contact information. So I'm just going to keep that safe. But, oh my goodness. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Purple and blue. She asked me what my favorite colors were. Look at this. Oh, it is so soft and thick. This is a thick, thick hat. Um, she made these on hat looms. I'm going to have to try it on now. Oh, yes. This is a look. <laughs> this is so cute. And it's, oh, it's so warm and soft and fuzzy. Rebecca, I love my hat. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be wearing this when I go out to shovel, um, hanging out with the little kiddos. I like it. <laughs> all right, guys, now that I'm all nice and cozy in my hat, I'll see you in our next video. Don't forget, we're pushing on that 4,000 watch hours to try to get me over that last hump. Uh, we're making progress, but I'm still a long ways away. So go ahead, watch some of my older videos. The video that came out yesterday showing the before of my new space, and you're getting a tiny glimpse of some of the after right now. But the video with the before is definitely something that you want to go watch because, wow. And you can't appreciate the after until you see that before. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, there's a lot coming up. I'm going to need you guys to be watching and voting on my tomato brackets so you can help me decide what it is I'm going to grow in my garden this year when it comes to the tomatoes because I have something like 60 plus, maybe 70 different tomatoes and I can only probably grow about 20 of them. So I need you guys to help me narrow this down. Now that things are settled down and I've kind of settled in here and I've mostly gotten like the major things that I have to have to do with making this place nice, I am really back in full swing making content now that things have settled down and I've got the at least really big parts of the uh, renovation here done. There's definitely a long way to go, but at least my bedroom's done, the kitchen's basically done, and I can go on from there. So there is a lot of content coming out. Like I said, we've got the continuing videos on the renovation. We've got the tomato brackets. We're going to do a little bit of a check-in on where I'm starting with my savings for my homestead. There's the MIG grow off. There's going to be some how to's coming, seed starting, seed hauls, like the list goes on tons of content. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in our next video when we grow more wicked awesome food from yard to table. Bye-bye.